Oh. It takes it a second. Gaga. Okay, now we're live. Hi. Hello. It's us. Yeah. Alina and it's us. Yeah, we're sus. <laughs> sus stream. Yeah, very sus stream. What did I do with my controller? There it is. I went through all this trouble to get my controller and and bring it out here, and then I'm gonna lose it. Unacceptable. I think I have to log into Steam. Let's click Rain World and find out. You ever just click on Rain World? Click in. Okay, see, Lynn says oh, that. Talking. Lynn says that she said hi. Lynn says hi. <laughs> Lynn was Lynn was very tickled the other day to find out that I mention her on the stream fairly often. <laughs> you do? Mm-hmm. I, I, I talk know. to her. I talk to her a lot, so my conversations with her come up on stream sometimes. <laughs> In case anyone didn't know, Lynn is really good. Yeah, I agree. Everyone on the stream likes Lynn. Lynn is like if you had like ten pizza pies. That's how cool Lynn is. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I'm gonna tell her to watch this vod when it's uploaded on on the YouTube. Oh, nice. I mean, it's true. Lynn is cooler than ten pizza pies. <laughs> And delicious and spicy pizza pies. <laughs> so the most recent thing we did in Rain World, which was now two weeks ago because Cassie needed a week to focus on uh, WarioWare. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> I just figured I would be distracted because I've been hyper well, well, the, well, actually, I did still stream with Cassie last Friday. It was just on her stream, and and it was WarioWare instead of Rain World. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think that was Saturday. I think we did it. I th I thought we did it the day it came out. Yeah, it was oh, the day it came did. out because that was my first oh, time really? playing the game. Yeah. Oh, I see. So I had just unpack unpackaged the game. And hadn't started playing it yet, and then you wanted to stream it, so I started playing it oh, for the yeah, first time okay, on the stream. Now. It was definitely Friday. Also, yeah, let's, let's... I was just really excited, and I knew I wouldn't be able to focus on the stream if I was playing Mario. <laughs> <laughs> what if what if we played Stain World? Oh, that's that's Mario's underwear. No. <laughs> Get out of here! I don't want to think about that. Well, it looked it looked it looked clean on the cover. Oh, you're right about that. He's a clean man. Hey, our friend Ash is here. Our good pal. Ash. Burger Ash. So the unfortunate thing is, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh yeah. Uh, because Cassie told me that there's some there's some way out of here other than the way that I found but uh, I have not I have not found this other way out you gotta squonk around in the dark oh Ash that does not that does not sound like fun and that is why I never went to school again <laughs> What doesn't sound like fun? He says that he's drowning in homework. Oh, that sucks. You see, I don't have homework because I decided never to go to school ever again. Yeah, like the hot dog in the haystack. <laughs> Oh, we can talk about the new Sponge game that was shown. Yeah, I feel like we should just wait until we got a couple more people here. Yeah. And then we'll, then we'll lay on the Sponge Bab. 
sponge. I'm just studying the map at the moment to try and decide where I want to go, and I don't see anywhere that seems useful. And I don't remember where that place was that we went last time, where Cthulhu was there. I'm amazed that you found a funky creature. <laughs> yeah. And it gave me an achievement. And I didn't know what's in the game. Yeah, That's that what's great a... about this game. Is like all it added more symbols to my thing. Hey, Sasha's here. Hey, Sasha. Lynn wanted me to say hi to you. She said hi to Cassie and to Sasha. Wow, a bunch of little yeah. dudes just came in here with me. That's the that's a unique thing about this game is that like all told it doesn't have like a ton of like unique standout moments, um, but the ones that do really do stand out. <laughs> And they're so oh, I see. like, yeah, they're so like rare. Who played the round before last? Krygor? No, <laughs> I'm playing one. Well. I hate that mini but game. Yeah, it like, only showed up once for me, and I got it wrong, and so now I hate it. Rip. Um, but yeah, there's like such a rare. It's so rare to have those like unique stand up moments in this game. So it's really cool some food, when they happen, and it's like even cooler when you hear that somebody else had one that you didn't even know about. <laughs> so I've just done some random traveling. Traveler girlfriend? Yep. And maybe this room has some stuff? Oh, Ash just gifted a bunch of uh, a bunch of subs. Oh my God, thanks, Ash. Yeah, thank you, Ash. I appreciate that. I don't know if you saw in the in the server. I was thanking everybody the other day for all the subscriptions and everything, because I got another payout from Twitch. Oh, nice. It was pretty good too. It was like a hundred and seventy dollars. Oh, that's great. Yeah, everybody's been really good. You are funding the stream to continue. <laughs> Lovely pizza people. And it's nice too because this is a pretty small stream, so it's nice that I can still make some money from it. Yeah, have some milk money. Maybe not have a big community, but the community that's here is is High very quality. dedicated to us, yeah. <laughs> we got good friends and good community. And it's all good. Well, you are very nice, Ash. Thank you. <laughs> Ash is a high-quality pal. This is true. I like the little friend sitting on the hourglass in the one micro game where you count the hearts. <laughs> the little fairy? Yeah. Sometimes you count stars. And also, it's yeah. funny that you can affect the amount... <laughs> yeah, I really like that. That especially happened for me when I'm playing as Pioro. Because the time yeah. will like hit some along the way and then like oops, I got to I got to I got to switch my answer. Oops. Yeah. Hold on, it's like I got to switch this answer. I pizza enjoy this game. Which one? Rain World or Wario? Well, both. <laughs> I really can't find any other exits here. I really hope that the stream continues to grow and everything. Yeah. <laughs> It hasn't been doing the best in that regard lately, but, you know, in fact, I'm still getting payouts from it. And so I don't have too much to complain about, you know? <laughs> right. I think, I think we'll get there. We'll have growth eventually. I think it's just, you can go through really long periods of not much 
but you know. <laughs> I did get. Okay. I did uh, last time I advertised my Patreon. I did get some more Patreon supporters. Oh, nice. So that is good. I'm back up to a pretty good amount on there. I'm not doing too terribly. I feel weird about my Patreon because nobody actually knows what I'm making right now. Oh. <laughs> the only one who knows anything is Biss, and even though they know very little. So it feels weird to be like, thanks for the money. <laughs> I think that's alright. We'll see what it is eventually. Yeah. People know that they like your art. Yeah. I hope Grey Area does really well because it's been t it's a very long term project. I think it definitely will. I've been taking a break from game dev for a little while because I was having trouble focusing on it. Yeah, and I, I think was that's like, a you know what? Approach. I should. Uh, that means I should take a break. <laughs> right. Because I think, like, after... I've been having some good comes. ideas lately, though, in my off time. So yeah, when I go back to it, great. I think I'll be excited to continue. Because right. there's a couple things I that I already like... had... There's a couple things I already had planned, but I've had some, like, good ideas for them now that have made me more excited about them. <laughs> right. I think, too, like, it's a really good time for a break, because you just pushed out a demo. Um, and, like... Well, and I did got, also... Like, sort of feedback that you can think about. Well, and, and I, I did. I, I have already pretty much addressed all of the feedback I got because I went back through oh, all really? of the levels and retooled all of them. Oh my God! Really? I didn't yeah. actually realize you did that yet. Yeah, no, I already did that. <laughs> and then, then I was having I was having trouble getting back into the, into gear of working on new stuff. I'm excited to try that. Yeah. Can you send me a build, or are you keeping it? Spooky um, secrets? I'm probably just going to wait until I have some more stuff okay. in the game first. So it's not just the levels have been redone, because I feel like that maybe sure, is a little bit boring. <laughs> yeah, that totally makes sense. I'm really happy you addressed a bunch of level design stuff. Yeah, I replayed every single level and kept in mind the stuff that nice. people said about it and everything. So it might It might still need some more work, but I feel like... It should at least be better. What kinds of things did you tweak? Uh, mostly just making everything a little bit less difficult. Nice. Like adding in more checkpoints, making some platforms easier to, to handle. Oh, sweet. I, like, I really uh, reduced most of the single block platforms. There's not very many ah, of those nice. anymore. There was a couple that didn't feel very a bad. Lot of those. Because I don't mind landing, I don't mind like having like a thin landing or something like that. But um, I did mind like the si having situations where like I would be coming off of a previous challenge, and just as I was like coming out of that, I had to land on um, a thin platform before I even had time. Yeah, to, I think like, the ones that I left. On the next I, I was think, jumping to. I think the only ones that I left in were ones where they were like the first part of the section. Right, that makes perfect sense. For the most part, I think there that might be a couple like others in there. One of the biggest problems I had in the game was that multiple things would be strung together in a way that, like, I couldn't have a moment to see what I was about to do next. You know? I also made I made the chase segment way easier because I was noticing that it was way harder for everyone else other than me. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. this has way more challenge in it than it needs, so I just r severely reduced it. Like, there's no enemies oh, cool. that'll jump at you during it anymore and things oh, like that. Oh, yeah, those guys were the things that, like, KO'd me on that because it was like... Yeah. I, I had there was a lot to focus on and I it moved, was really claustrophobic, so like I moved it was those, hard to use. I moved those guys around a lot in general. Nice. Yeah, because like there was so little maneuvering space, it was like oh, hard feel to like, avoid those guys even when I did notice them. I feel like those enemies are in more reasonable places now. Because I nice, like those enemies, nice. I like their behavior, but 
is noticing they could spawn yeah, those people. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I like that they're kind of brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to reduce their brutality a little bit, though. <laughs> right. That I think that's the right move. <laughs> Let me look at chat. I've not been doing that. I feel like this place might be a lead. How do I get over there? So if we go straight down and then Right words, and then squid words. We get over here. Sasha, if you start making more money, don't feel obligated to squirt it into this stream. Yeah. Because you said, uh, you said, um. Hope I can start making more money to support the stream a lot more. Don't give us too much money. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We appreciate but the help, but you don't need thank to. You. you don't need to to support us that much. Yeah. Spend some on yourself, or save it. That's what I do with most of my money. <laughs> Ash says every once in a while I should just reveal one single tile from the game. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I have almost no art right now. Like, I've been doing a ton of gameplay prototyping, but, like, no See, art. See, <laughs> I, wish, I, wish, I wish I could discipline myself to do that. I always have to have all the art first. I and then I make stuff like out of it. That. Um... But I guess it's and just maybe, because I'm more excited about the art, and so then I feel more motivated to put it in the game when I right, when I have it all sense. put together. <laughs> I think Pio, of all things, was kind of a shift for me, where like I didn't really have like anything in the way of art right yeah, away. See, that's because I think you're a little um, bit different than me. Like you have gameplay ideas first, whereas I have art ideas first, <laughs> and so I would do that right, first. Right, that makes sense. I mean, I don't always have gameplay ideas first. It kind of depends. Oh, I see. Like, Bree Goes to Hell, for an example, was very much like I had a cool story I wanted to do, and I also wanted to do cool gameplay, and the gameplay came second. Oh, I see. Also, Sasha does it that way. I think she does uh, making the game first and then art later. Oh, yeah? Or at least for your current project. I saw you doing that, right, Sasha? This stick is very important because there's there's nasty beans I'm going to have to fight off going through here. I am... Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, most of, most of how I develop things is like focusing on what excites me in the moment. And sometimes I'm excited about art, and sometimes I'm not. And lately, I just haven't been. So like, oh, I see. Yeah, I just focus on what I'm most excited about. Art's art is something I'm very consistent with, enjoying. Yeah, I've enjoyed I've that my totally entire life. I'm I'm a very like like a inconsistent person who's like interested in different things all the time <laughs> so like, oh i see yeah at the moment it's wario i just follow whatever i'm focused on at one point you were really focused on this game i remember what game this game that we're, that we're streaming oh rain world yeah I remember when cassie was was into the the world of rain so this is a very dangerous place I'm in right now, but if I play my cards right, I can get through here. I've done it before. Mm 
I'm gonna get a sneak underneath. To do a little swimming. We do a little swimming. Damn. I failed. We do a little... With gray area, the first thing I thought of was the story, which is a bit unusual for me. I've had that story um, all planned out since, like, well, 2015. What is usually the first thing you think of? A title. Oh, yeah! Actually, that was the first thing I thought of with gray area, too, actually. Before, before I started thinking about the story, I thought of the title. It's a really good title. Like, it's so evocative. I thought of it while I was walking around at the grocery store, I remember. Just came into my head. That absolutely tracks. That's when I thought of Marshmallow and Fruitland, too, actually, was at the grocery store for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes sense, because there's Oops. fruit at the grocery store. Yeah, and I wasn't looking at fruit. I wasn't looking at either of those things, though. Maybe you're thinking about food. Oh, I wasn't even supposed to be in there. I went the wrong way. Oops. I went the wrong way and died. Great. No. What if spiders were called speeders instead? Um, and they were really fast. I appreciate the input, but no. <laughs> we can't we can't accept this suggestion. Oh. The world's fastest spider lives around here where I live. I've seen them. Oh. It's the giant house spider has the world speed record. Fucking speeder. For spiders. It's really annoying because the the uh, the Guinness Book of World Records lists a different uh, animal as the fastest spider, but it's not. It's an animal that's not actually a spider. So. Oh. The the I forget what it is, but it was very annoying to me. They need the uh, the Guinness Book of World Records needs to get it together. Yeah, they need to warrior get it together. Yeah. Is there any other reasonable way to get over there? What if I go this way? Will clicking anywhere get me there? Click click clicky click. Clicky, click, click, clicky, click. I'm gonna try this other route and see if I get there. Are you clicking on me? Yeah. I'm a clicker. <laughs> a cookie clicker? Can you, can you ever forgive me? Okay, so do you want to tell everybody what the, what the three, uh, Important food groups for babies are? Oh, yeah. So the three things that babies eat are chips, pizza, and Sprite. Yeah. This came about because I asked I asked Cassie um, what she would do if five babies came over to her house. Yeah, five babies. I, to I told her I would give them chips, pizza, and Sprite. <laughs> yeah, you told me you would feed them, and I asked you uh, what you would feed them, and that was what you told me. Yeah. So I'm going to have those ready when, when Cassie comes over to visit. That's because I know the five things that babies eat. <laughs> Dips, pizza, and Sprite. That's five things. Ash says he doesn't think that's correct. Why not, Ash? What's wrong with chips, pizza, and Sprite? Yeah. What, literally, what's wrong with chips, pizza, and Sprite? <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. That would be wrong with that. Ash, are you trying to cancel chips, pizza, and Sprite? <laughs> are you trying to cancel babies? <laughs> if 
five babies in the house. That's the the popular new sitcom on yeah, Nickelodeon. Babies. Yeah. Five babies in a house. Yeah, basically. Oh yeah, I've got to tell the I've got to tell chat about. Um, so we were watching one of those videos together that was like an hour of memes or something yeah it was it was called an hour of memes but it feels like five minutes yeah and the absolute legend who put that video together really thought this video was funny where it was like some skit where some guy was like taking people's photos and they were all getting like uh, yeah they, he was taking a group photo for a group of people yeah and they were all like what even were they saying like one of them they were getting offended like, over everything yeah, I don't even remember what they were saying. It, it started was with, all it just was like, like, say cheese, and then they said, uh, cheese, I said, I'm vegan, and I don't think cheese is vegan, can we say something oh, else? yeah. That was the first like, one. Like, truly the pinnacle of comedy. That was the inciting like, accident, incident. That's, if you make that kind of video, you're a genius. <laughs> um, so I wanted to see more videos from this genius, right? Because, like, I've never seen that kind of comedy before, right? Like, holy shit, jokes about people among us? getting offended yeah getting offended that's so among us of them um, <laughs> so i was like okay so what a, what what kind of keywords this comedian is truly among us the person who made this video so i could see more of their riveting original amazing videos right and i realized there was nothing original in the video it was all yeah, jokes there were no I keywords before. like there was nothing i could look up to find this video. Am I stuck down here? It was I might be really stuck down funny. here. Damn it. No! Oh! It's funniest shit I've ever seen. Poop, Winnie the Pooh. Let me find another route. I'm gonna get over there and it's gonna be a dead end and I'm gonna be peevist. Yeah, for real. No, this is... Oh, oh my god. I went the wrong way. I, I poop. I shouldn't even have been in that room. Gosh dang oh, it. Red. Well, let's try again. Whee! I like Elena a lot. Wow. I like Cassie. Yeah. I like Elena more than I like a big piece of pizza. Well, but what if the big piece of pizza was on me? Well, I would have to eat it. <laughs> you heard it here Where first, folks. The pizza? Yes, he eats the pizza. Mysterious silence from Elena on the location of the pizza. <laughs> I could say it on stream, but I don't want to. I swear. <laughs> I swear what? that's it. I said I, I swear it's stream friendly. I just don't feel like yeah, it. For real. I love it when Bugcat walks around. Yeah, Bugcat's kind of a legend like that. No, Have no, you no. Have met a legend more legendary than Bugcat? Never. I don't know how I survived that encounter, but I'm glad that I did. Because you're a legend. Now I'm thinking about that one speedrun YouTuber who opens every video with Hello you absolute legends. Oh, is that... What's his name, like Carl Jobst or something? Yeah, that's it. He does videos about speedrunning, like, cheating controversies primarily. Yeah, I love those videos. My favorite is the one about the, the fake Mario speedrun. The guy eating pizza oh, and, and drinking drinking yeah, coke. Yeah, like dude's just eating pizza as he's speeding. It's so funny. It's fucking funny. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and it's got all the like it's like several different speedruns and like task <laughs> runs spliced together. Yeah, like every hallmark of a fake speedrun. <laughs> As he's just sat there eating pizza, it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Continue. So now we're saved over here. Congratulations. I finally ate enough good meals that I could save somewhere else. Carl Jobs did a video about that uh, floppy person who cheated oh. at Minecraft. The newest big Minecraft speedrunning controversy. Oh, I haven't heard of this. What what was the situation? I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, really? I've just sort of seen it going around. Ooh, I can lock in my... my sim no, go, go in there, bug cat. So, let's go to the right and see if... Anything is over there. Probably a spooky monster is over here. Yep. The spooky monster is here. You ever think about the nose? Need something to throw about it. Here. Yeah. There's a few types of micro games that aren't like exactly the same, but are like familiar. That nose one is one of them. Yeah. The classic nose. Also, micro one game. of the micro games, there's like a sh there's a chef that I recognize from. Yeah. From the. Thing. The, um, Cat Nana's boss in WarioWare Gold, where you have to oh, make Oh, yeah, food. that's where I saw them. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this I zone recognized is them new. instantly when I saw them. I was like, hey, it's them. It's that yeah, asshole. me too. I didn't remember like, where. It had been too long since like I played Gold. Over when you don't make the food good enough. <laughs> I don't think they have a specific frame for being like, oh, this food is shit. They just fall over. <laughs> <laughs> like they just they just take the sprite and go down you go. It's funny. So this area is yeah, not a dead end funny. yet. I love why you wear because it can look like shit and that's the point. Yeah. This game has less because I remember in WarioWare Touched there was a lot of games that were like almost disturbing <laughs> with how they looked, and I feel like there's <laughs> oh. been less of that in recent WarioWare. Interesting. I don't know if there's anything in WarioWare Get It Together that I would call uh, disturbing. All right. Actually, no. There was that one. There's that llama that shows up in the door sometimes. Oh God, yeah. That llama's scary. It makes like a weird, like screeching noise. <laughs> WarioWare is great. Yeah. War I swear Weaver. there was more of that in Warrior where it touched. Like, there was like a weird man baby, I, I remember. <laughs> Amazing. I want to get Warrior where DIY. Yeah, I've always been interested in that. I feel like it's a little bit less interesting now because it's harder to get other people's stuff to play on it. Yeah, for sure. But like, it would still be cool. Mm-hmm. I wanted it when it was new, but I never got it then. I'm gonna need another stick. Can't get up there. Damn, this is frustrating. Oh, I think there's some sticks underwater. Yep. Thank goodness. Okay, less frustrating than I thought then. 
There is a multitude of sticks around here. Multitude noob of sticks. <laughs> oh, I know. What if I called you a noob? Um, Roblox. <laughs> yeah, we would be we would be in Roblox. Roblox sixty nine. XD. Yeah. Pardon. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't say any words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. Good to know. Yeah, um, I just farted. Oh! Girl after my own heart. Do your own fart. Oh yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? Sans is here? <laughs> I've been watching Roblox Iceberg videos recently. Oh shit, me too. Also, we have six viewers now, so I feel like now is a reasonable time to talk about the Spongebob game. Oh yeah. All we had to say is that little Patrick, tiny little man. Yeah, I'm thinking about him. He's great. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm, about him too. I'm very, very happy to see that they're, that they're making a brand new Spongebob game. Yeah, I'm happy about that too. Like... It's honestly, it's funny because like you told me about like that, the, that they were teasing that and this is honestly sort of like it was not off of what I was envisioning it being like at all. Yeah, same. Because like I was kind of, I was kind of always I had like sure an optimistic vision for game. it and then I was like, yeah, this is, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Memory yeah. crypts. That's, I was hoping holy that, guacamole. As much as I would love what a the? remake of the movie game. There's, I there's, think I was definitely hoping there's scissor guys. What? There are scissor guys. Scissor dudes? Yeah. They got scissors for faces. Oh, oh, did you make it to the mystery zone? There was no gate. I'm just in a new Rust place. Rusty land? They have spears for legs. For feet. I wish I could have saved a little bit closer to here, but I didn't find any food. Well, chat, what do you think of this place? Nice, you made it! This feels pretty dangerous. Not gonna lie. I need food. I'm reading chat, and Sasha's game sounds amazing. <laughs> so this is the correct place to be then, right, Kizzy? Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, good. Um, also, yeah, I was definitely, as much as I would love a remake of the movie game, because... A way to play that without having to squirt dolphin onto my computer? Yes, please. I just have um, access to GameCube. I forgot I was going to get that game, actually. I, f I forgot it on my list of GameCube games I wanted yes, to get. Yes, yes. I'm excited for you to play that. It's probably not very expensive. Um, hopefully that's true. Um, I wouldn't but imagine like, a licensed game would be. Yeah, as much as that would be like totally baller and I'd be 100% on board, I was also hoping they did something original. Um, did you know there hasn't been an original Spongebob game on consoles since 2015? Um, and it was not a good one. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. you don't even really think about it. Oh man, these scissor men are really freaking me out. Yeah. I don't want them to touch me. I see. Yeah, it was a terrible game, and the game before it was also a terrible game. There hasn't been a good original Sponge game in a long time, so... You know, time will tell if this one is good, but like, you know... I'm pretty confident in it. Yeah, I'm confident Considering too. Considering Battle for Bikini Bottom. With, um, yeah, with Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, it's definitely like Flashing a lights warning, by the way, I have one of these flashing bomb things 
It's definitely a chance for them to like show their chops like as designers though. Yeah. Um because, you know, they didn't really design Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I would argue that some of the things that they changed weren't great. And you know, it's hard to say whether those were like time constraints things or just mm-hmm. they don't have a bunch of good designers. They didn't give a release game. date or anything for this game, did they? No. So it's like, you know, it's hard to say. Who knows when like, we will see it. Um, yeah, it's definitely hard to say, but I have I have a relative amount of faith. I'm curious to see what their take on Sponge. If I don't find food like. quick, um, we can't eat that glowy thing. Because every time you make a license game, no matter how well you try to replicate the source material, part of you is always going to be part of you part of it and i think that's part of the fun right is like it's somewhat a new take on something you already like um so uh, i'm interested to see what their flavor of sponge tastes like <laughs> oh. so we gotta go you like the taste of sponge elena <laughs> I think that's all the answer we needed. <laughs> so where did I last save? It was way over here. I really need to find food. So that I can save at a better location. So let's back up and maybe look for food first then. The zone with the scissor guys is, is a little bit freaky. They're a lot scarier I than the spiders. It's really cool. Um, you're really cool. Oh. Am I cooler than a big slice of pizza pie? Yep. Wow. That makes me happy. You're cooler than a really thick thigh. What? Pardon? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've really taken some speech patterns from you, haven't I? Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Cassie and I slowly become the same being. <laughs> okay, I'm eating some good orange beans. That's a good meal. They taste like Fanta orange soda. That's canon. What? It's canon that, this, that these orange globules taste like orange Fanta. Oh, yum yum if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's official canon. I read that on the Rain World website. Adultswim.com Yeah. That's the cheeseburger website. Sometimes it's funny to remember that this is an Adult Swim game. When I was a kid, I thought yeah. that that was that that, that 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 Adult Swim was like swimsuits. <laughs> it's funny to think of because, like, I but think they, essentially, they... like they're really just publishers. Mm-hmm. Adult Swim I actually know, refers I don't know to uh, games. it refers to at the time at a swimming pool when they when they kick all the kids out. It's, yeah, all the babies have to go. And just adults get to swim. Yeah, no more babies. Because it was the originally the, the nighttime segment on Cartoon Network, right? Yeah. I mean, it always was. Oh. Like, it's I thought it was its like... own thing. See, I never realized that, because the times when I ended up like seeing it listed, I didn't put two and two together that it was like... Just yeah, Cartoon after, Network at like... night. <laughs> Yeah, after like nine o'clock or something, they switch over to Adult Swim. Then it was something else. Poop, I lost, I wasted my stick. I'm a stick waster, it's kind Cassie. Of funny because, like, internally, you know, I'm not sure. Like, I don't know a lot about TV stuff. What if I got published by Adult Swim?
Interesting that the symbols don't matter to get out of this place. It's the only one that's been like that. I need to go get a good meal again. I'm walking. Yes, yeah, indeed, I'm walking. Yep. I'm here. It's a Lena? I'm here. Let's pause the game real quick. I, I'm here. I'm gonna message her. Uh, this is bizarre. I'm gonna re enter the call, me. Hey, Chroma. Well? Hi, Cassie. Oh, there you are. I could okay. hear you the whole time. <laughs> All is big. I kept I... going, I'm here, Cassie. I'm here, Cassie. Cassie, oh, I'm no. here. <laughs> Gotta eat some good orange phantom beans. Yum yum. Tasty. Delicious. Yum yum. Do you like orange Fanta or orange crush bitter? Um I don't know if I've tried crush. Uh, I don't know. I think one of them has caffeine and the other one doesn't, so whichever one it is that doesn't have caffeine is the one that I like. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't really like caffeine, so yeah. that's what I that's what I would prefer to. <laughs> when I was younger and I was on uh ADHD medication, I would like one, two, three, five. I would like um if I had like any caffeine during the day, I would be up so late. Oh, yeah, it was kind of wild. I just don't like caffeine because it gives me a headache. It makes me feel bad. Oh, yeah. My body feels feels bad. <laughs> Ripping bones. It feels like my me. whole body is like buzzing in an unpleasant way. God, that sucks. And it's funny because. Caffeine is a, supposedly supposed to help with headaches, but it gives me headaches. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. That sucks. <laughs> Chroma says you're in the lasagna crypts. Yeah, we're making Are lasagna. Are these the lasagna crypts? We're making lasagna. <laughs> oh, all right. Throw it. Throw it. Bug cat. There you go. You need to injure the bean so it can let you pass. Hey! 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 No! I wish I had had more to eat the first time I went through there because now it's uh, now it's a pain in my butt. Oh no! I'm I'm experiencing butt pain now. <laughs> Amazing. Pain of the butt variety. Pain of the ass. I hate those beans. Those are the bad beans. Mean ass beans. No, Grandma, this isn't lasagna. These are orange Fanta beans. Actually, I like the other flavors of Fanta and and Crush better than than orange. Actually. Like strawberry, I like. And grape. Oh, I know. What if you were feeding babies pizza and burgers? Um, that would be wrong. It's supposed to be pizza and chips. Oh, yeah. And Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta figure out who all is gonna stream the Nicktoons fighting game with us. Yes. I'm definitely streaming it with you. Did you know it costs 50 bones? Oh, dang. Yeah. That's the same as WarioWare. Yeah. I totally got, worth it. I, I got like, Monkey Ball. Fighting games take a ton of work to make. I think we're, to I think we're like so spoiled by Smash Bros. having like, what, 80 characters? <laughs> and, uh, too many characters, you mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, um, like... 
I got Monkey Ball Banana Mania with the art book for only forty dollars, which is pretty cool. Oh, nice. I have no idea if I'm getting that at launch. I am. I want to play. I want to play me. I want to play me some monkeys. I want to play the monkey game. Hell yeah! Give me those monkeys. Yeah, get those monkeys in in my. Get those monkeys in my PS4 right now. Oh, mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Next month. Well, the end of this month. I'm getting uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed, of course. This is my highly anticipated game of the year. Um, but also next month, I'm getting quite a few games, because I'm probably... I think I've decided I'm getting Metroid Dread. Yeah. Looks interesting to me. That game looks spice, but mm -hmm. I'm not getting it. I'm probably not getting it at launch. I still haven't even... Played, um, oh, good job, but oh, um, oh yeah, I didn't even attack the thing and I managed to get past it. I still haven't even played uh, Metroid Fusion, so I got no business playing Dread yet. <laughs> I just don't really mind about not playing them in order, because it's like, I don't know, I don't think I'm missing a super whole lot. Plus, yeah, I, already, sure. I already have sort of a passing understanding of the series anyway. Yeah, personally, I just think Metroid has like the way they tell stories in metroid is really good um oh i see and it's like it's subtle but like experiencing it go. in game is really nice it's always pretty subtle at least from my experience yeah, i think it'll be good with it because because dread just looks like an interesting game to me from as far as like something i want to play you know right <laughs> I think it sounds like we need to buy Sasha the the Nicktoons fighting game. <laughs> Cuz we we got to have her join. Yeah. We absolutely got to all play it together. Do you have any idea who you want to play as? Who me? Yeah. No, I have no idea. I enjoy Someone fun. funny. So I might just end up playing as Sponge, but I don't know. Maybe I'll jump around the roster. Like, who knows? The the thing is, like, I don't know who I'm going to have the most fun with until I just play it. So it's kind of hard, oh, hard to say. <laughs> I'm famously not super into Super Smash Bros. in the first place, so I don't know. Right. I mean, I think I've gotten... I feel like I've more or less had my fill of Smash Bros. over the years. Like, I'm, I'm very happy that they're probably, that it's probably going to go dormant for a while after Ultimate. Because, like, you know, I know it, I know it'll come back eventually. Nintendo's never going <laughs> to be like, we could make so much money if we made another Smash Bros. game. But what if we just didn't? Wouldn't that be fun? They're not going to do that. But, like, you know, I, I hope it, I hope, Give Sakurai you know, it'll a break. take a while. Then the next time we do see it, there's like, it's like new and interesting and fresh. You know, because, like, we've had so much good Smash Bros. shit going on for a while. And it's like, you know what? This is great, but I need... I, I like, need a, need a break from this. <laughs> well, why, why would you feel bad if we got you the game, Sasha? You don't need to feel bad. Yeah. It is a gift from you your bad, friends. We'll throw you in the toilet. <laughs> we'll give you a swirly. Yeah, you can live in the toilet and play the game from there. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, you don't have to do anything in return. The thing you're doing in return is having a good time with your pals. Yeah, having a having a rad time. Mm-hmm. Just because we appreciate we appreciate your company and your friendship. <laughs> Sasha says being thrown in the toilet wouldn't be a punishment. Uh, well, not for me. We, should, Sasha, you should you should give us that that picture you did of of you and Cassie 
It would, it would be funny to show on the stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a funny picture. If you send me that, I'll put it on stream. Because it was funny. <laughs> Burger Sasha. Oh. I like it when Cassie is very small. Well, yeah, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> the tiniest baby. What are we a talking baby? So, like... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, what I'm super saying? Super Burger. She sent it. Okay, let me get, let me, let me escape from the confines of this zone. Sasha sent the funny movie. And let, let's head on to the next web zone. And, e and email Bugcat there. Hell yeah, Bugcat. Email Bugcat at this web zone. I love Bugcat. Yeah, Bug Cat's my favorite. Oh no, I didn't even notice I had the stream paused. Oh. Also, Sasha says that she's planning on mining Zim, Reptar, and Ren and Stimpy. That's pretty cool. Ren and Stimpy look like a fun character. It's, sing also, it's funny that that's a singular like character. Because it's platforming. Yeah, but Biss hates Ren and Stimpy. Yeah, so they'll feel conflicted, but they'll ultimately like the stage. Alright, we have to deal with Edward Scissorhands again now. Or actually, it's Edward Scissors' face. <laughs> Sasha says, I like to think the story behind the toilet picture is Elena took the picture and found us in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, I took the picture. Yeah, hanging out in the toilet. Me and so Sasha, Sasha were your art, and talking about Wario. Your art has been improving a lot lately, Sasha. By the way. <laughs> Hell yeah, definitely has. This is high quality. Getting that good shit. <laughs> there you go. They're hanging out in there. <laughs> I like your cute style of smoles. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, we're in there. <laughs> it's such a good image. We're having a good time. Having a chat about Wario in the toilet. <laughs> get out of here. I stabbed it and it didn't get out of here. I'm gonna leave this room. And that'll probably help. I like when I get 5 volt on the Luigi's Mansion micro game because it's like a ghost finding a ghost. <laughs> Honestly, the fight a ghost is dead hunter theory. who is a ghost, that's kind of a fun idea. Danny Phantom. Oh yeah! <laughs> He's kind of, he feels different from your average ghost hunter though. Because he like goes through a portal and fucks up the ghosts. Or wait, do the ghosts usually come through the yeah, portal? Yeah, they usually come through like the portal. People? Oh, yeah. okay. That, like shows, box that goes to show how much Danny Phantom have actually seen. The only ghost that I remember <laughs> is the box ghost. Yeah, I remember that guy. Beware. There was also... Uh, there was also Vlad and... Uh, no memory. Wow, I actually remember a lot of ghost names. There was a ghost called Ember. There was... Uh, actually, maybe that's all I remember. <laughs> What if they just put Danny's Danny Phantom's dad in as a playable character in this game? Amazing. And not him. I love that that's not even like a weird thing. Like I love that they put in like so many like characters that aren't like the main character. Like they're like, yeah. I used to watch Danny Phantom a lot. Weird lips thing from all real monsters. <laughs> I'm gonna catch like, them all because we use Danny Phantom, I'm gonna catch them all. Who's I'm Eliza Thornberry? Do you mean Nigel Thornberry? They did say that there's going to be DLC characters, Sasha. 
Oh, you want one called the Dad Pass? <laughs> it's just yeah. dads. They they uh hadn't they were like talking about wanting to do DLC for a while, but they finally confirmed that they got the go ahead on that. So nice. Oh yeah. Well, these things are like throwing up sparks. These are like metal guys. How do you feel about these creatures, Sasha? I want to I want to know your opinion. You like weird creatures. They're snipping. What do you think they're up to? What do you th what are what are they what are they busy doing? Where are they going? What what are their what are their thoughts and desires? <laughs> Elena's funny. <laughs> These are the things I think about. Important things. Mm-hmm. Sasha, dads remind you of yourself. Oh. Oh, no, 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 not oh, dads. The scissor things. The see. scissor creatures. No, <laughs> no, not dads. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost a terrible misunderstanding. Truly. Dads remind me of my dad. I wonder <laughs> why. Let's see, what was I gonna what was I talking about? Oh yes, I was gonna mention the dream I had last night, which was wild. I had a dream oh, I was yeah? in a city. Yeah, tell me about it. I had a, it. I had a dream I was in a city and part of it sank into the ocean, like in the middle, like the, and now oh it was God. like two cities, one on each side. And what? it awoke it awoke these giant blue creatures with big frills on their backs that and the frills were like the height of a skyscraper. Yeah. And then some of them had hair, and and they were going around and and doing stuff. And, but then it turned out that some of that they start out small and like and like human like, and so some yeah. of them decided to stay in that form because it was easier to to go around and and do do human things. Oh. Yeah, and they and were just hanging out. And it's easier to uh, it's easier on the special effects budget. Uh, well, except for they were like weird looking humans. They were just sort of like human-esque shaped. Costume department. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a, and also in the dream I had made a basketball comic. At some point, I've never actually done yeah. that in real life. Oh. I should be able to make it farther this next time because I have to. I will spend less time slurping around. For making it to this area. Also, sorry for the volume. It gets really loud when the rain happens. Elena loves to slurp. Is that right? Isn't that right, Elena? Yeah. You're always slurping. How long can I remain in this area? Um, three this hours. Is... Well, there's my answer. That was this. The. <laughs> there's the end of that. Oh yeah, Lynn and Sasha and I started watching the uh, the Quentin Reviews iCarly video last night. Oh, perfect. Anyone? Good. I hate I've that seen show. Thing. You hate iCarly? <laughs> yeah, I hate it now. I'm like, what the... <laughs> they just kept being like, what the heck is this? This it's is awful. It's definitely a weird show. I watched a lot it of it. It just kept getting kid. worse. Like, I didn't feel like that on the first, uh, the first uh, part. I was like, oh, okay. It was like weirder I don't think than I'd I thought, ever but... really seen the later seasons, so like finding out what I missed out on is amazing. Like I, I think I only watched iCarly like once or twice. The ever. bullshit energy is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's it's the thing. A lot of sitcoms end up doing where they just become more and more absurd as they go along. Like they the, start the, fucking around. Yeah, the scenarios start making less sense. Like when they had they had fourth graders in a sweatshop making oh t-shirts for yeah, them. Oh my god! Yeah, forgot about that. I was like, that. what the heck? It's like what? This is not normal. This is not okay. 
It's such a weird show. Yeah. We gotta we gotta tell them about um We didn't you know the we meme? still have maybe like an hour left on it, so Do you all know the meme where Gibby falls from the ceiling and smashes into the ground? Yeah, we we, we saw that part. Yeah. Um for the folks at home. The Okay, okay, so about the stunt, fortunately, um Gib Gibby's actor is okay. Like yeah. We're all good here. He didn't get hurt. Everyone's okay. But that's that's because plot twist. It was the fucking stunt double, which is to be expected. Also, I want to say stunt double broke all of their ribs. Before we continue, real quick, I wanted to say I'll I'll take you to the beach, Sasha. Come over here, and I'll take you to the ocean. <laughs> I love the beach. Yeah, I go to the beach a lot. Anyway, continue, Cassie. Yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Okay, I just wanted to get that in before. Before I forgot. All of his ribs. And then they put like... They put a joke his... in about it. Yeah. He, he like that, rolls over and he's like, did you hear my ribs cracking? Yeah, there's like a, you know, there's a cut and then they switch in the Gibby's actor on the floor and he's like, did you all hear my ribs crack? <laughs> it was like, the, the other actors just watch this dude break his ribs and then they're like, all right, Gibby, do a joke about it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oops. I can I couldn't believe how much the humor degraded with Gibby as well. They just like the joke is just said he goes Gibby and I'm like He's a <laughs> Pokemon now. Part. That's what I loved. He just says his name. <laughs> Funny. Gibby became my favorite character by experiencing the show secondhand like that. It's like they just they knew his name was funny. Good really unfunny bit and driving it into the ground. Look, I love the art of having a really unfunny bit and driving it into the ground. Like the like his the duplicate of his head. Yeah. That he just has for some reason. <laughs> what a terrible bit to drive into the ground. I love it. Also the fact that they did an episode just sort of like criticizing shippers reminds me of that video I watched oh, by yeah. Sarah Zed about uh, uh, Sherlock, where they had an episode exactly like that. I like the one episode that destroyed reality. <laughs> Which one I was that? I don't remember anything about it, but it was like... Was it the April Fool's one? Like, I think so, yeah. That had like time travel and stuff. And yeah, that was the reality. April Fool's one. Also, Biss is here. Hi, Biz. Biss had a dream about me and them making crystals for aliens, apparently. Oh. Hey, Biss, what do you think of these scissor creatures? I want your opinion. What do you feel about these beings? No, I, I was trying to back up back in there. We're down to the lowest symbol again. That's okay. Biss, you can just say lightsabers. You don't have to say beam swords. <laughs> Come on, bug cat. Oh, I know. What if I called you a meme? Oh, man. They made me a meme. I knew you would say that, yes! <laughs> Aw, man. I'm a meme. <laughs> we had to live in Disneyland? The aliens now owned Disneyland? Oh, no, we owned Disneyland. Oh, yeah, we own Disneyland. Disneyland. If I owned Disneyland, I would make a ride about poop. <laughs> yeah, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> I would make a I would make a ride where five babies serve you pizza and chips and Sprite. Oh yeah, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you get pizza, chips, Sprite. It would be great. Yeah. Living in the pizza, chips, and Sprite dimension. Oh yeah. That's the maybe I try going to the left yeah, this time, right just for variety's sake. Maybe I try going to the left this time for variety's sake. 
Hell yeah. The left? That's my favorite direction. Okay, never mind. You can't go that way because you can't jump that high and you can't put a stick in that. Can't fit my stick in there. It's too hard. I need a surface that the stick will stick into. Oh, and this is my stick girlfriend. I just randomly threw a rock at that scissor thing, and it didn't even <laughs> didn't even uh, react. Oh, and this is my stick girlfriend. Well, kind of like <laughs> Henry Stickman. The OST of the dream was a beatbox song you were making when you fell asleep? <laughs> wow. But yeah, Bis, please give me your opinion on the scissor creatures. I love them. I might need to put some scissor creatures in my game as a tribute. But they won't be they won't be like monsters they have to fight or anything. They will just they will be friendly NPCs. So if you see anything like that in my game, refer back to this stream, and you can be like, aha! That's where what, they come what from. What are you saying? I know, it's spacing out. I said I, I kind of want to put scissor creatures in my game now. Oh. As a tribute. But they're not, there wouldn't be monsters you fight. They will be friendly NPCs. Nice, nice. Some kind of scissor creature. They seem slightly swag. <laughs> What if they seemed unsightly swag? I think these creatures are my favorite I've seen in the game so far for whatever reason. I love them. They're really entertaining. Bug cat. Careful, bug cat. I was... dang it. I made some poor decisions. Wouldn't it be cool if you made some kind of reference to gray area in your game? Yeah, I would love that. That would be fun. Yeah. And I could put your character... Oh, I think I already wanted to put your character in as, a, as an NPC in gray area. Be a fun little crossover event. I was thinking it would be cool if, like, we all, if, like, a bunch of us had stuff to announce at, a, at like, similar times, so we could do, like, a direct type of thing. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. Oh, it would be fun, I think. I would let you write the dialogue for for Amelia, if you talk to her, uh, Sasha. Whoops. Boy, I'm doing a p horrible job getting out of here. What if we, what if we call the one in gray area, Gray Amelia? Who's Amelia? I never that's, heard that's of the this character. character. That's the character in Sasha's game. What game? That you play as. I don't think I know much about this game yet. Am I not supposed to? Yeah, I don't even know anything about it. Oh, exciting. She sent me a little demo just to test the movement in it, but it didn't really explain or show anything, so I don't know anything. That's exciting. <laughs> And I, I know, well, I probably shouldn't say what I know, actually. I don't know how much she wants public knowledge. I was going to say, I was wow, going to say, I know a couple of the characters and places. Yeah, I only know, like, like two characters and one place. And you showed me music you're working on for it. 
which is very good. Hey! Hey, what? <laughs> this said... Uh... The Joker says, I was just curious how progress was coming on your game. Color area starring Snowy. Elmeo. <laughs> Elmeo. It took me a bit to get what you meant by Snowy. It's like, oh, Hail Haley. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you ever just say oh my Lena? Never. What the fuck? Really? Yep. I say, I say A Lamau. A Elmeo. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny when people refer to aliens as A Lamaus. <laughs> I don't know how that got started. It's so hard to get onto that thing because you gotta be you gotta be pressing the buttons, right? Bogo's the, the binted. Bogo's binted? Yep, Bogo's binted. <laughs> anyway, you know what if I walked up to you and I said um Bogo's binted? I would say <laughs> You would make the noise and vanish? Yeah. I see. Because I am the alien. What? Yep. I didn't know I was dating a fucking alien. I come from Planet X. Fuck. In the fifth quadrant. I'm not ready for that. It's always funny when there's like sci-fi things and they have the fifth quadrant. Because quadrant means four. Four of them. <laughs> Showing that they have no idea what the word quadrant means. <laughs> Or sometimes they'll be beyond that too, like this the seventh quadrant or something like that. It's like what are you what are you doing? Non Euclidean quadrants. Non Euclidean LMAO quadrants. <laughs> oh I know, what if I said LMAO? We gotta decide what we want to stream together when I eventually finish Rain World. I'm not sure how far you are in this game. Oh. Well, you told me that going this way would save me hours. It definitely has. Oh. But you're saying there might still be many more hours? That's what I'm saying. Oh, damn. I was hoping we were finally getting close to finishing. We've been streaming this game for a long time. Well, we did take a long break. Yeah, but still, this is like part 11. Yeah. <laughs> Almost as many streams as I did uh, with Arrow of Outer Wilds. Yeah, it's kind of a long game. Anywhere from 40 to 70% from the end, says Chroma. That's a wide range of percentages. It could be less than half or still kind of not very close to the end. <laughs> you still there, Cassie? Yeah. Oh, Chroma was just asking you something. Oh, yeah? What is it? Ba -ba -ba -ba? Oh, ba -ba -ba. Does that sound right? Um, that's hard for me to say. 
Uh, I don't really remember how long it, each part of the game took me, but it, they are right that it really depends on personal experience. Gosh, dang it. Thought I could hide in that hole. I don't know what that means exactly. But it concerns me. Well, we are next month doing Little Nightmares, for sure. Yes, I'm excited about that. It'll probably be like a one-stream game. Maybe two. Oh, really? Yeah. I was telling it's I was really telling Arrow, I, I assumed it was pretty short, because I remember you getting through it really quickly. Yeah, it's a very short game. Okay, well, she wanted me to stream Soma for Halloween. She wants to see me play that. Sweet. What is Soma? Um, it's by the people who did uh, Amnesia, The Dark Descent. It's sort of... By my understanding, more of like a like a sci-fi horror. Oh, cool! A psychological horror game. The heck was that? There was some sort of like little meteorite go flying there. I've been meaning to play Soma for years. So, yeah. I remember Vine Sauce likes it. So it's a good one. I always wonder if people expect me to be into horror stuff or not. <laughs> like, is that like something unexpected when they find out that I like that I like horror stuff? That's a good question. There's some people I've known in my life in the past too who were surprised. I don't or thought think it it's was something I ever, I'm not sure if it's something I ever found surprising. Or if I thought it was like incongruous to my personality. <laughs> I've liked pretty much all the horror games I've played. I think the only one I didn't like was Outlast because I thought it was boring. Rib. I didn't. I was streaming that game the first year I was streaming for Halloween, and I didn't finish it because I just I, I outstayed its welcome for me. It just kept going and got really repetitive and boring, and it was just like I don't want to be playing this anymore. Rip Which is the exact opposite feeling you should have. Like, a horror game should not make you feel bored. It's like... Right. It has failed as, yeah. as horror if you are bored. Right. <laughs> the most horror games do when they're, when they're good is they stress me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of just sort of graphic stuff in Outlast, which isn't really scary. Just more sort of like, there was a lot of moments that are, you go like, ew, that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> and then there's a lot of guys, graphics. And then all they do, as far as horror stuff, is they just have a monster that just chases you around in circles while you try to do stuff. Amazing. Like literally chases you in circles. Like there's a part where you're in like like this flooded basement or whatever and there's like this there's these things you have to go back and forth to do and there's there's a bad guy chasing you the whole time and so you you would literally go around in circles while this thing chases you amy's story sonic adventure <laughs> i think my favorite uh horror game might still be amnesia the dark descent the game was fun. Well, actually, that said, I, 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 I liked it, but it could have been better. Because uh, my main issue with it was that um, the monsters despawn after you activate them once. So, like, and they always activate in the same, like, there's nothing random about them. Like, they're all scripted. 
to always happen the same way every time you play the game. So that kind of took away from them a little bit for me. And the fact that you don't have to learn how to contend with them. Like, they, they, they lost any scare f scariness to me because it's like, well, if I fail this encounter, I just won't have to do it again. And so there's like no, uh, yeah, there's no stakes. Right. I didn't feel like there were any stakes since that, that uh, sort of removed the, the stress factor that horror usually has. You know, speaking of uh, spookly spooker games, you, you ought to play Inside. Does it have, um... I think there's maybe like a couple Chroma that may or may not happen, but for the most part, they're all scripted and always happen in the same locations. And like, even if it is random, if it happens or not, it's still a set location where it's going to happen. I did like all of the, the, uh, the, uh, manifest manifestations of your character's uh, mental health, basically. Where, like, if your character is, like, more traumatized, you'll see, like, spookier things. Because your character is, is feeling worse, essentially. <laughs> Um, I did like Amnesia. Amnesia Justine was actually my favorite because that one, while it does still have the the set encounters, it also deletes your save file if you die, and you have to start over oh from God. the beginning. So it had really high stakes, and so that that made it really stressful and <laughs> and scary. Not That's so bold. Yeah, I mean it's fairly short though, so it's like doable to get through right. to the end. But that was my favorite one. That's really cool. Especially, I loved the part, uh, the, I think it was like the final sequence of it is the best part because um, normally you can sneak past the enemies because they cannot see. Um, but they have good hearing, so you can kind of just be quiet and, and you'll be fine, right? In the yeah. last segment, um, you're in a, you are in a flooded basement and so you can't p escape making noise. Um, and you have to get the you have to get these valves to put on these big doors to open them, and so so first you have to find the valve really fast while making a ton of noise, and then you have to put it on the door, and then you have to painstakingly turn the valve manually because Amnesia does that thing where you have to manually open and move things. Yeah. Um, well, the monster is banging on the previous door, trying to bust in. <laughs> oh. And you have to very quickly get that door, and then you have to turn around and close it as fast as you can so that the monster can't get in, and you have to do that like several times in a row. Maybe you're thinking of the fake monsters from Low Sanity? Maybe. By the way, gameplay-wise, um, The Widow Nightmares feels like a sequel to, um, Limbo and Inside. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, Which... I forgot about Inside. That's, uh, the other yeah, one by the you Limbo really people. ought to play it. It's so good. Limbo, I didn't feel too much. I would. I don't think I would call it a horror game, really. It's a spooky game. Yeah, like there's some like there's some there's some spooky stuff in there, but it didn't feel like that spooky. If that makes sense. Just felt a little sort of like dismal. So I yeah, say. for sure. There's no food in this place. Anywhere. There's no save spots. I don't know how, like, it's, it just keeps going. It's like an endurance zone. Hey, wait, this is as far as I made it the previous time, remember? I'm not gonna make it any farther this time. What is that glowing thing beansing around everywhere? I have not played Penumbra Chroma. I don't actually know what that is. I don't think oh, I've heard Sasha of that. Oh, Sasha says that she wants to work up the courage to stream again. And hell yeah, I believe in you. Sasha just It'll got awesome. got spooked by the, the the hate raid stuff that was happening. What happened? Like there was a lot of sp spam bots that uh, oh. target people. On Sasha's stream? I don't think they ever happened on her stream, no. But she was I afraid see. they would. I, I, we have, I don't think that we will have that problem on my stream any, like we got a tiny bit of that here. Um, and I was getting a little bit too. Um, 
we found a thing that like blocks like 400,000 known bot accounts. And also I have a a good bot running on the on the channel that uh, looks for the spam accounts following your account and blocks them if it detects them. Nice. So <laughs> It's an earlier series by the Amnesia folks. Oh, I see. Poop. I also played Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Which I got for free. Yeah, that was the sequel one. Uh, that was made by a different developer. And it was not very good. <laughs> it was sort of removed all of the good stuff from the first game. And was more of a more of a walking simulator type of game. Uh -huh. Like it didn't have the didn't have the sanity effects or anything. Uh -huh. So it even had it had even fewer stakes than the first game did, <laughs> if so you can imagine. Like, so it was like a much dirtier game. Yeah. Because there was much less sanitation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, the monsters were just not scary. Like they were just they were just pigmen. You sound like a kid who's like. Yeah, it's not even scary. <laughs> <laughs> and like, that was the one thing with the Amnesia was that uh, you were discouraged from looking at the monsters because it would, it would, that would, would damage you, essentially. Enderman! Um, so it sort of made them spookier because like, you never get a good look at them. And so your brain fills in the details. God, that's and like, really at least cool. for me... Whatever my brain fills in is going to be a lot scarier than what it actually looks like. Like the right. point, the point at which I actually see the monster, it, that that mystique is gone, and I'm not I'm not as scared anymore. <laughs> I'm not I'm not as uh, as spooked by them. Because like when you like, my favorite moment in the first Amnesia was when I was like you hear the thing coming, and like I had to like back up into this room and just hide. In the in a cabinet, like in like a dresser, you know, and you yeah. can't see anything. You're just you're just huddled up in the dresser, hoping like, and you hear it in the room, like bashing everything up. Uh, and that's you're spooky. like, you're, and like you come out and everything's all like like once you eventually hear it leave, everything's all in disarray, like it had been so searching spooky. through the room, <laughs> and you're just what hoping amnesia, the dark descent. Oh yeah. And you just you just hope and pray. That it won't look in the <laughs> won't look in the dresser. That's straight up spookly the square pumpkin right there. When I did get to see them, Chroma, I just like there was no penalty for looking at them, so I just I just see this pig man and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's a pig that's a pig man. And the story was made a lot less sense. I mean, not the Amnesia, the Dark Descent had a had a story that made a lot of sense in the first place, but this one I felt was was a much worse story <laughs> as well. And I think it was like sort of like an all it was all a dream type of thing as well. I was like, oh, thanks. What if your ass was all a dream? Wow. Uh, my other favorite horror game was uh, Slender the Arrival. Which also managed to make me extremely stressed. <laughs> I never actually, I've never beaten, sat down and beaten that game myself either. I beat it once playing with my sister. Like taking turns playing with her. And we got through it together. And I think my sister's friend was over at the time too. Hanging out with us. The part where you're, like where Lina there's Burger. was that Cassie? I like Elena Burger. Wow. The that part where you're in like the cornfield or whatever, and there's that monster that's like running around chasing you was very stressful. I did not enjoy. Elena's <laughs> oh, afraid of corn. Oh. And there's a part where you're in like a church and you like open a door or something and he's just there and he, there's like a loud noise and he blasts out and like that either. <laughs> the story in that game was pretty terrible though. It had sort of a non-ending that bothered me. 
but the game itself was great. Slender's a great horror character, in my opinion. The Slender Man. Spooky guy. He's a spooky dude. Yeah. Is this correct? <laughs> the Slender. This I. I enjoyed the Slender Man a lot when I was younger. I enjoyed the. Uh, the lore. The spookliness. They should make a horror game of a toilet monster, and when it catches you, you get flush. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they should definitely do that. Like, 100%. I would play it all day. I like the origin of the, the Slender Man as well, where it was made for a competition where they were trying to make the, the most... The, the, they were, people were trying to make cryptids and try and get the most people to uh, buy into it as possible. Make the most convincing <laughs> <Yeah>. cryptid. <laughs> And the Slender Man was the winner. Slender. There was a there was a Slender Man movie. I also thought I also my 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 only complaint with the Slender Man was I I felt it was a bit cheesy when they started giving him tentacles. It's like he doesn't need tentacles. <laughs> Should just be a spooky man. Hey, look at this. I managed to make it into a new a new zone. It's not outside. It's a 2018 Slender movie. It was by Sony. It was terrible. Oh. Well, it's not completely a new zone, I suppose. Leave me alone. Wait. There's nobody down here. What's not completely a new zone? Oh, I was just underground for a minute instead of oh, above yeah. ground. You're in the spooky zone. Some of their scissor mouths look different. Some of them have different mouths. Oh, poop, I don't know how to get up there. There we go. Oh lord. They're coming. Oh wait, no, we're good. The Slenderman gets summoned because a kid opens a link on a website. What? <laughs> yeah, that does sound better, Sasha, if it was a found footage film. The Slender Project. Sasha's cool. I've never seen the Blair Witch Project, but I hear about it a lot. It's apparently a classic. Funny movie? I don't know if it's a funny movie, but it is a movie. Hilarious. Oh, what the hell is this? Fun for the whole family. Oh, there's a good meal up here, though. Fun for the whole family, Elena? I don't... I don't know if Blair Witch Project is fun for the whole family. No, Mayo. No. It's not an LMAO oh, movie? Oh, I only need the lowest symbol to get through here. Why isn't it an LMAO movie? I'm sorry. It's just not. Not. Okay, Cassie. Before I commit to this area, is this is this the wrong way to go? Uh, where are you? Well, I think I think it probably is. Yeah, it looks like it. Is this the wrong way? Looks like you're all good. No, oh. it looks like you're all good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get committed to the wrong way again. <laughs> The leg? What a, what is this, Xenoblade? Are we in the on the in the Mechanus? <laughs> oh there's some good meal over there. Come on, Bug Cat. 
Let's get that. Let's get that chow. Or is it like Bionicle and we're in Matanui? Yeah, the film must not have done very well if I didn't know it existed. <laughs> Such. <laughs> We've been streaming for almost two hours now. You want to keep going for now? Sure. Okay. What if they did a Half-Life movie and and the and the and the G-Man is there sometimes? Oh. <laughs> Funny HLM Half-Life movie. <laughs> you wouldn't mind a Half-Life movie. I feel like Half-Life would be fairly easy to adapt to a movie because it already has a lot of story stuff that you could pretty much just directly adapt. And it would probably, it could just be sort of an abridged version of the games. Oh, good job, Bug Cat! What if there was a Half-Life movie where G-Man was a wisecracking sidekick? That's just that's just all those SFM videos that people make. Don't hate me because I'm gorgeous, Freeman. I'm gonna I'm gonna play that video. I want that. Don't hate me because I'm a genius. G-Man roasts Gordon Freeman is the title of the video. The great Cory Lando. Can a G come up in your crib? Ah, don't hate me, because I'm gorgeous, Freeman. Maybe if you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass AGV suit, you'd get some bitches on your dick, hmm? Or better yet, maybe Alex would call you head crab ass if she ever stops fucking with that Vortigaunt or scientist she fucking with, Freeman. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh boy, I got a good comment on my, uh... My, my, uh, our first, uh, Sage stream from this year. It's from Fidget, yeah. who is a, a regular around it? here. It was just Stinky Dancing Jelly Bean Bug song. <laughs> a regular around here? I don't think yeah. I've heard of him. It's Fidget. Do I, do I just always happen to not be here when they are? Probably, yeah. Also got a spam comment. Let me get rid of that while I'm here. Bye, Spam. I feel like I'm not here often enough. Oh, I see. Sasha thinks about maybe, that maybe video I'm daily. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm gorgeous, Freeman. <laughs> Which is itself a reference to a very silly series of videos called Gorgeous Freeman. Funny movies? Yeah, in, in, oh, gorgeous, movies? in Gorgeous Freeman, um, uh, Gordon Freeman destroys a train by, by sucking it up his butt. Reference to hilarious funny movies? I yeah. love hilarious funny movies. Yes, Sasha? Yeah, I showed you Gorgeous Freeman. Sasha, what if you were Orbulon? <laughs> she might be. That's true. 
You quote one part from it and you can't stop and it upsets you? What part is it? Am I even going to remember what it was? Is this a... But for me it was a Tuesday situation? Oh, Sasha says she is Orbulon. Hell yeah. We love Orbulon in this house. <laughs> Um, we also love Cassie in this house. Ah! Oh, I just got licked by a lizard. Oh. Very interesting. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> Only Arrow is allowed to do that around here, not that lizard. Arrows are allowed to be a wizard. Yeah. There's a bunch of green things fly floating around over here. There's lightning. Or thunder, at least. <laughs> oh, I see, Sasha. I barely remember that. I'm sorry I've cursed you with this. <laughs> oh. Need to activate this lizard so it'll get out of here. You ever just activate a lizard? Oh, Put in your time. lizard activation code. That's what Biss does. Yeah, Biss puts in their lizard activation code. Yeah, absolutely. On the website. All about that shit. This is like when you encounter a witch in Left 4 Dead 2 and it's just in the middle of like a really small corridor. And there's no way to avoid it. <laughs> Anchoring her. Wait, are these lizards are unactivated? Take them back at once. This is a deactivated lizard. Oh my god, I managed to escape. Chat, I'm escaping. I'll oh, poop. Freedom girlfriend? For a second. I thought maybe putting more tension on the tongue by swinging around on it would, uh, would upset the lizard. And it did. But then it kept chasing me. <laughs> There's like weird mechanical noises that keep happening here. I'm still thinking about that person who, in those YouTube comments, was vehemently swearing to me that pets are not family. God, yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> Did I show you that? Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> Continue to think about that. To this very day. I was talking about it with Arrow on my stream yesterday. No. Come on, bug cat, get in there. I feel like these Rain World streams must be pretty relaxing for people to to watch. It's a chill game. You just get to see a talented little bug cat, and some weird creatures, and some conversation. Yeah, some funky fresh dudes. 
There's definitely a lot of funky fresh dudes in this. Okay, game. get away from you me. Gotta admit it. Are you admitting it, Elena? Yeah, I admit that wholeheartedly. Good. I'm wholeheartedly. Rain World stream, calm chat. Any other stream, chaos chat. I think you just. <laughs> I think you. You just mean calm chat. Right, of course. I messed up with that. Oops. Do 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 do. -do. My stream has become the 3D platformer stream lately. Has it? Yeah, because I'm doing Balan, Psychonauts 2, Rayman 2, and I'm gonna do uh, Super Mario 64 soon. I see. Come chat is a Raymond exclusive. There are unique evils driving those streams. Yeah, I always mention. For some reason, Biss and I get so sassy with each other during Raymond streams only. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Raymond. We get so rambunctious. <laughs> Raymond brings out the worst in all of us. <laughs> I still have to beat the final boss in Raymond 2. We're hoping to start Raymond 3 this week as well. I'm gonna finish Raymond 2 and start Raymond 3. And Biss has made a special intro just for our stream yeah. of Raymond 3. It's because he sang Sex Bomb that Raymond is like that. Pardon? The funny American Raymond. Raymond's big features are referring to his infectious malice. <laughs> the joke of Raymond. Malicious. <laughs> it's amazing that you call him Raymond. Yeah, Raymond. Raymond. <laughs> His name I apparently. Never be bold enough to call that guy Raymond. His name apparently originally referred to their ray tracing technology. You're so brave, Elena. So I guess technically is he is supposed to be the Ray Man. You're like so fucking brave for calling him Raymond. <laughs> that lizard is very green over there. Solid green color. There's weird noises around here. Oh, I've entered a new location. There's laser beams. Where are these? No, these are bugs. Chat, there's bugs. It's bug world. I stole one. Bug cat won't eat it, so I have no new no need for this. How's it feel to be my laser girlfriend, buddy? Also, I think it's just stuck to his hand now. Bug cat won't let go. Or do anything. Can I like knock it off by throwing stuff? I can switch hands. Maybe if I duck and press B, let's say you drop stuff normally, right? Oh, there you go. I remembered it just in time. Those are just funny little grubs. They do n literally nothing. <laughs> funny little men. Sometimes there's stuff in this game that do literally no things, and it's fine. You know? Yeah, funny little men. This game is not afraid to have things that are purely for decoration.
Elena, if you had to yes. fight Nine Volt, how would you ensure victory? Um. I bring out the beans. <laughs> oh, I see. You. I would. No, I just call his. I just call his mom on the phone. Oh. So you would call Sasha. <laughs> No, no, Sasha, Sasha is just is just married to Five Volt. Oh, I would just let Nine Volt skate past me. <laughs> You'd have to avoid his yo-yo. He would never be able to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Roma says all bugs serve a purpose, and that is to be funny. Right, all bugs yep. are comedians, including Bug Cat. <laughs> But they're not comedians like Jerry Seinfeld. Oops. The only one that's not a comedian is the the beanbug. Because the beanbug is completely serious. Yeah. The beanbug is actually a genius. The beanbug has... Oh, wait. No, that's true. Right. Science. I was... Science. I, I made a non-point because if Sasha is married to 5-Volt, that, that makes her 9-Volt's uh, nine, nine mom, too. Yeah. I've, I've, I have to wear the dunce cap now. No, Beanbug's not evil. Beanbug is just serious. Beanbug, Beanbug knows. Beanbug is is on the on the grind. Yeah, Beanbug just Beanbug just works smarter, not harder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, have you have you seen the Beanbug lately? Have you seen how much that that the Beanbug works? Yeah. Working out. All those squats. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, tons of squats every day. <laughs> it's I mean it's it is every day, bro. <laughs> Chroma, Chroma has posted squished bean bug. Oh, I just can't make that jump. Come on, bug cat, make that jump. Come on, bug cat, make the fucking jump. I mean, I want to go explore elsewhere to see if there's anything I can do, but... Um... Does not seem to be the case. Nine Volt sucks. <laughs> <laughs> We're roasting children on the stream today, I see. Yeah. Literal child. Getting roasted. Yeah, he's a sucker. He can't turn around. <laughs> Did you I'm post trying to do the mission where you play the Did you see in the chat, TV? Cassie? Yeah. What Sasha wants to say to Nine Volt? What does Sasha want to say to Nine Volt? Nine Volt smells, yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> no above that. Can the long jump get me there? What? No, I ran Just into the fruit. Imagine saying nine volt. Auto mod, I will eat you. What? Maybe you didn't see it. What are we saying to nine volt? I don't. Hey, what? Well, what? Did auto mod eat the funny thing? I allowed it. I, I allowed it in. It should be there. It just says. I'm just imagining saying to 9-volt and then Automod I will eat you and then 9-volt smells. Oh damn. Aha! Oh my god, that was a trick shot. I managed to get the, the stick in there, so maybe that's a foothold I can use. How are you enjoying the leg, Elena? It's, um, mechanical. It auto mod took it again for aggression. Yeah, if you sent what you said, I can't see it. Is it something like, hey, nine volt, I fucked your mom? Yeah, that was it. Oh, that it was that exactly it? Yep. Oh my god. Cassie just guessed it, Sasha. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now a long... Oh, that was not a long jump. Okay, you guessed it word for word, she says. Amazing. I hate this area. I don't understand how it works. Oh shit, is the, uh... The, uh... The other person I'm doing the, uh... Wario spreadsheet with... Wario spreadsheet? Is, uh, yeah, did I tell you about that? No, I have not heard of this. Please um, explain. So, in the Poyopedia in WarioWare, they rate every character's, like, um, like, you know, ability in each of the micro games. Mm -hmm. Um, and so somebody in the Wario Discord was like, all right. I want to, um, I want to know, like, let's I put know all this data into a spreadsheet and see what the game considers the best and worst characters, right? Oh. Um, Sounds interesting. Yeah, so we've been putting that data into a spreadsheet to find out the answers. Tell me what's on your mind. Nine volts so far is definitely losing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a surprise. Yes. I'm very spumbust right now. There we are in the credits of the spreadsheet. So yeah, we have um we have a few more sets of micro games to uh put into the spreadsheet and then we'll have all the data. These damn fruit in the way. Oh, they filled in anything goes. Oh. Nice. Nope, that I couldn't reach. That just means we have one, two, three, four. I think nope, we we're gonna have, have to come back here. This area is very linear, so I don't really have anywhere else I can try exploring. We're just gonna... Volume warning, everybody. The rain's coming. Rain! Rain, rain, go away. What if I was raining? Well, that doesn't help. These bugs... It wouldn't help if I was raining? No. These bugs don't do anything. <coughs> oh boy, this is different. I'm getting flung around! <laughs> Everything's getting flung! Whee! Well, this was interesting to see, at least. How did I end up over here? I, like, clipped through the wall. like fireworks. Oh, the fruits fell down here. Well, I kind of just want this to, to reset me by now. Like, okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. Wow. I would say that rather than master it, the step that I do in this game is fart around until I find the exit. That would be more apt. Burger? And then hope that it's the correct exit, and it's not sending me three hours away <laughs> from where I'm supposed to be.
I have no idea. It just, I don't know. It just bounced me around for five years. <laughs> I wonder if it's the glowing that somehow helps. Helps with what? The fact that I didn't die from the sparks instantly. It took five years. Oh. Wait, Deltarune Chapter 2 is free as well? What? Really? Kind of weird, but okay. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Toby Fox has so much money he doesn't need anymore. You know what? That actually makes perfect sense. <laughs> That's actually like Chad shit. If you're like, yeah, I have plenty of money. You can just have my game for free. <laughs> like, if you do have I that mean... kind of money, then like, sure. That's that's rad. I mean, that's he's out there that, doing... I get the impression that um that's what Hollow Knight is, where they're like, yeah, we only need to sell this game for like fifteen bones, even though it has like a billion years of content. And yeah, this these lizards are very obnoxious. Well, that's it for that run. Let's try again. I was gonna say, because Toby Fox is out there doing stuff like making music for Pokemon games now. Yeah. And also, there's uh, merch. <laughs> Get smoke money from that. Seems like a cool dude. For yeah. reals. I still love the, the logo that he gave them f that they that then Pokemon had to use to represent him. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. I love Toby Fox. <laughs> This is kind of an anomaly. Toby Fox seems like a straight up just genuine, genuine pal. I will definitely get around to playing Dota in Chapter 2. Um. I'm just not in the right headspace for Dalsirun right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. I was just, I was, I my, the announcement of that just, just brought back into my mind the, the, the Undertale incident that I had, and so I, I made a thread about it, so I was thinking about what, it again. What was the Undertale incident? Where I had to restart my entire playthrough, oh, because I yeah. went to save. <laughs> that was amazing. You made a thread about it? Yeah. Oh my god. Where? And there was people uh, on Twitter. People people, were, people kept asking, and it was, well, also on Mastodon, and people, both, in both places, people kept asking me, like, wait, what? Why did you have to restart your playthrough? <laughs> so Amazing. I explained. Yeah, it was just like, I'm still so salty. And I still I haven't finished that playthrough. I say that you're thinking about little baby Patrick. Oh, Biss also said that they thought I might like Deltarune better. Oh, really? They, they want me to finish... They want they, they said, if you ever finish that play... Whoa. They said, if you ever finish that playthrough, then maybe we could do that. And I was like, well, what do you... What do you... Like, you're always the one that's telling me you don't want to continue streaming Undertale with me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, if you want to do it, Vince. Some point. I think I'm probably pretty sure I don't want to do the other ending. It's probably oh, really? a game I will leave uh, non-completed. Just because, just because it sounds really tedious and difficult. I see. And it's like I don't like the game enough to want to put in the effort for a tedious and difficult playthrough. I see. Just to 100% it. Speaking of games with weird and arbitrary things you have to do for true endings, um, Cave Story comes to mind. <laughs> I really don't think it's weird and arbitrary to give Undyne, who's like collapsed on the ground in this. Yeah, but as I always say, 
She's like a fish. As I always say, she was just trying to kill me. Maybe yeah, I don't mind the, that she's knocked out for a minute. The the spirit of the run is that you're you're helpful and kind, and you understand. I'm helpful that and kind to people who deserve it. More complex than child murder. <laughs> Which is kind of funny when you think about it. That's on new <laughs> jail, I guess. <laughs> She's trying to murder a kid. She can still have some water, though. <laughs> I also uh, brought up recently that I didn't, oops, that I didn't register the fact that the water cooler was even there because Undertale is full of just sort of random things in the background. And so it just sort of blended in for me. It was just, I didn't even Amazing. register that it was a water cooler or that it was there or that it would be interactable. Because I remember seeing it, but I don't remember thinking anything of it. And I also remember thinking, okay, well, I want to save so that because I just got through this really difficult part, I'll come back and, 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 and do this later. But the game's like, nope. You do it right now or never? Like, well, okay, damn, right. I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Like, that was the most punishing moment I've ever experienced in a video game. What? That? Yeah, that that is the most punishment. Because my, cause my wow. entire playthrough was ruined because of one moment where the it's game didn't... That long a game, though. ...didn't convey to me what I needed to do. Yeah, it still took me like two hours to get back there though, when I like I had to sit down and play it myself. To get back to that point. And that was like skipping all the dialogue and not doing anything unnecessary at all. It took me like two hours to get back to that point. Oh I remember I had there was there was I had a friend who had to tell me all the stuff you had to do in Cave Story because there's like you have there's like a random pit you have to that looks like it's just a jump but you have to actually fall down into it and there's a thing you had to do and there's like a specific thing you have to do with curly brace at one point to make sure that she doesn't die later that would be really easy to miss it seems like the kind of thing you like couldn't do on your own unless you played like a million runs <laughs> mm. yeah but the my friend at the time was behemoth it's like you got to it was like, you gotta get the true ending. Like, you don't want to miss it. It was like, oh, okay. So... <laughs> I also got the joke ending where you just leave. At one point. Oh, Arrow and Biss are both playing Deltarune Chapter 1 and 2 right now, and they both just popped up simultaneously saying that they're playing it. Did it, like, just come out this second or something? I guess so. I found someone on Twitter saying that they didn't even have titties when Deltarune Chapter 1 dropped, and now they have 36 Ds. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that they have 36 of them. Yeah. I think I did? What year was that? It was like a couple of years ago? 2019, I think? Dota Rune. I know I knew Biss at the time. But I guess I've known October Biss since 2018. 31st, 2018. Okay. Yeah, I did. I was gonna say, I knew. I knew Biss, so it could have been all the way back in 2018. Yeah, I definitely did. Hey, wait a m Oh, wait. No, this wasn't the room yet. Alright, we're back in this room now. I guess there's more exploration I could do in this room, actually. Dr. Rune is so interesting. Seeing people posting about it actually is making me want to play it now. <laughs> I 
but she says she knew no one until late 2019 when she met Cassie. Knew no one? What That's do you what mean? she said. <laughs> Holy shit. Were we friends? And all the way back in 2019? She said like late November 2019. Huh. Did we interact? Okay, well this didn't... this is a dead end actually. We gotta have a good pal. <laughs> what is that bug doing in the corner? Asha says she met you when she joined your Discord. Oh shit, yeah! God, I hate this room. This room is my nemesis currently. I feel bad because I haven't, like cultivated like a community that much lately or anything like that well you helped cultivate uh, my community that's true so, <laughs> this is your community too I think once people see what I'm doing that'll change gosh dang it I'm a f farting butthole Oh, Sasha showed up to Pizza Time Explosion stream first. Oh, really? Nice. I hate this room. This game has ground to a halt because of this section. I'm gonna have to eat a chicken enchilada. No, I don't know what that means. Don't ask. Chicken enchilada for my girlfriend. Yeah. I'm gonna knock down these fruits. Dingus. Well, now I, I don't know where that stick went. <laughs> Great. And I lost my stick. Chat. Where's my oh, stick? No. Okay, that doesn't help me. I swear these bugs have got to do something to help me out here. Yeah, I'm now a non-stick bug. No, oh, I made a mistake! Well, the bug is stuck to me. Wait, what the heck is... What the hell was that? Holy crap, Lois. The bug is stuck to me. Wait, what the... How is this happening? Holy shit, Lois. I don't... I'm stuck.
I have no idea how I'm going to get through here. Um. Yeah, this is a complete mystery to me. Now it's time to get shocked. <coughs> Whee! I am stumped. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Completely confused. Hmm. This is a conundrum. Burger conundrum? Hmm. I don't know, y'all. French fries conundrum? Ah, don't hate me, because I'm gorgeous, Freeman. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty then. The most I've ever interacted with Deltarune is I remember that that was one of when I made my Super Smash Bros. predictions video. That was one of the characters that came up. Who? Oh. One of the Deltarune characters. Susie Deltarune. They were like a purple character. Yeah, Susie Deltarune. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that somebody would predict that as the as a character that would be put in. I guess the thing is to consider on those is I don't know how many of them were made completely seriously. Like how many of them were like wishful, like this is like my ideal, or how many of them were this is who I think will actually be put in. Right. Somebody <laughs> made a pretty convincing video speculating that an Undertale character would be in would be the last Smash Bros character. <laughs> I I think I would still be really surprised at that. I honestly they did make some really good points. Like Undertale it's absolutely massive, right? Like over <laughs> here and in Japan. So like the two main demographics that Smash appeals to. I guess I don't um, realize how big it is because I didn't I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> So it doesn't feel very big to me. Um, and like, you know, Toby Fox has literally already hung out with Sakurai. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know. Like, if I didn't know that Undertale was popular, I, I don't, I've said before, I don't think I would have... Like, if I had come across that game on my own and decided to play it, I don't think that I would have remembered it at all. I see. <laughs> I mean, like, I think, like, it's hard, you know, it's hard to come up with anything that would appeal to, like, absolutely everyone, right? But pretty much everyone loves Undertale, you know? Oh. So, like... Well, no, I feel bad. <laughs> I, I, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong that you don't like the game. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and there's no, like, there's obviously no, like, licensing stuff they would have to go through. They would just have to be like, hey, let's do Undertale. And then Toby <laughs> Fox is like, yeah, Undertale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the other thing they mentioned, was that uh, when they added the Cuphead costume, they did a spirit event for that, but they never did Undertale one. Oh. Please, lizard. No, gosh dang it, that lizard was speedy. I prefer, uh, Pinky. And Clyde. And Inky. 
Gordon as the final fighter? Who's Gordon? Gordon, Gordon Freeman. Oh, oh. <laughs> amazing. That would be funny. I think I would still like to see the Doom guy. Yeah. I just like it's hard to think of characters that would be bigger crowd pleasers, like, you know. Uh, we're kind of like running out of those at this point, right? Like, I mean, maybe, Doom maybe is I'm Doom is a, like a massive one. Doom is a like, very old series with a with a with a, a lot of fans. Yeah, for sure. Like a lot of people like it's Doom. a classic game. <laughs> like, is it as big? Like, does it have the same kind of reach? You know, like, is it even popular in Japan? I don't know. I feel like I feel like they've got to do like an absolute banger for the last character, right? So like the last character is Half Life Alex. <laughs> so we have Minecraft Alex and Half Life Alex in the same game. Incredible. <laughs> of course, it would be like the final frontier to break through, like to have a truly indie character. Yeah, I just don't think that they would. I I am actually genuinely willing to believe. I that think that's, indie characters are off the table. I, Gosh, I just, dang it, bug cat, you stinker! You might be right, but I guess we'll find out, right? The Isabel memes. Oh, <laughs> for Doom guy. <laughs> How long have we been streaming? It feels like it's been 30 years. It's two and a half hours. Wow. Long stream. I usually stream for four hours. But that's usually two or more games in four hours. So if we stopped now, it would actually be a fairly short stream. <laughs> Amazing. So I'm not planning to stream anything else today. I feel like Waluigi is too small to be a big, big absolute banger of a final character. Like at <laughs> one point, like if they revealed him as like the final character in the base roster and then there was still a DLC after that I would have been like oh yeah that absolutely makes sense that's a banger for a final character <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like at this point it's like either either they don't pick like an absolute banger for the last one they just do another fire emblem character or something or <laughs> god I'm, I sure am coughing or they're like, all right, this one's got to be a fucking banger, right? And they go absolutely huge. Well, I thought you were going to say they go absolutely ham. That too. They go hog wild. No, lizard. <laughs> God, I hate this lizard is the worst lizard in the game. <laughs> oh, Sasha's so saying that they will add Waluigi in addition to the final Fighters Pass character. Amazing. Like they'll just throw him in there. I am never going to get through this place. This is just this is the end of the this is the end of my playthrough. I feel like if they did that, Sakurai would have to like really do the meme where he says, Please do not ask me for anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> because he already said that he wasn't doing more characters, right, after this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I feel like he was pretty clear in his language. So if he did surprise us, people would just be like, Oh, Sakurai's never done. We we should keep expecting things from him. 
he would have to he would have to bring out the meme and say please do not ask me for anything ever again if he did that <laughs> well the lizard's not here this time that means it's going to show up later yep there <laughs> It showed up right before I said that means it's probably going to be here later. It was here later, but not as much later as I as I hoped. <laughs> Gotta remember the long jump to that pole. He's not really lined up with the pipes here, crawling through there. Okay. Here's the green lizard. The Grizzard, as it's known. Oh no, I didn't know that it was the plant the whole way up. Gosh dang it. That was my fault. Gosh dang it. Sometimes I'm not very smart. You ever notice that, chat? Sometimes I'm a little less than completely smart. Like a talking lizard? Yeah, like a, like a squawking lizard. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like a talking and squawking lizard. Sometimes I'm a bit silly. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Sometimes my sometimes my brain is on power saving mode mm -hmm. instead of performance mode. <laughs> also I don't know how true this is, but uh, apparently a Smash Bros. Facebook account or something, like maybe like the official Smash Bros. account. I'll look into this for a second before I talk about something I don't fully remember. Smash Bros. 84 characters. It was something about like they mentioned there being 84 total characters. Uh -huh. um, but like... If there was only one more the character, Nintendo 84. would we go up to, uh... Like... Oh, wait, was that not the case? I ain't touching that plant. Some of the animals in this game are rather plant-like. I might be bullshit. No, right? lizard, no, lizard, no, lizard, no, lizard, no. Oh. I've made a song out of this. Where there was like some weird thing that implied the last character was going to be a trio character, like Pokemon Trainer or something. I don't know, though. Weird. I mean, that character. Did they. Do they count? All three of the Pokemon is separate? They do, yeah. Oh, okay. What if it's the chorus kids? <laughs> I mean, that would be weird, because they're all like the same kid, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's chorus kid one, two, and three. <laughs> I guess that would I, be I like if they counted would, Duck Hunt. Like three Undertale characters in one move set. I guess that would be like if they counted Duck Hunt as two characters. Which I don't think they do. Sakurai likes to say that they're three characters if you count the person behind the screen with the light gun. <laughs> I want them to make Excite Bike a character still. That would be so funny. I just really want them to add more NES games in the final as individual characters. It's, like, it's just so it's just so out there, but it also makes sense to just like 
go back to like a character. I don't know why Excite Bike is the one that I've but like an NES character. I don't know why that one's the one that I've gravitated towards as another NES game they could put in as a character. Because it would be funny, a dude on a bike. Like that would be great. It would be so funny. <laughs> My other choices were always like pinball or golf. Or baseball, <laughs> or like <laughs> something like that. They already have Ice Climber. Yeah. I like when Sakurai takes characters from the NES and beefs them up and turns them into that's some what, that's, spiced. That's what Pit was originally. Yeah, it feels like it's a tradition in Smash Bros. Where like, you have Ice Climbers. Yeah, and they have haven't Pit. done that in Ultimate yet, have they? Yeah, and they then you have Duck NES Hunt. thing. I want to count Piranha Plant, but you kind of can't, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> not just... Piranha Plant has already been developed up. It wasn't Sakurai developing up Piranha Plant. Yeah. That would be cool. Like, a cool note to end on. Because that's one of my favorite traditions of Smash Bros. Is just or if they Sakurai added... an NES character and treating them as if they've... And, like, basically making up a history of other games that they, they never had. What if they added um, Wrecking Crew? Oh. <laughs> That's like supposed to be Mario, right? Imagine if it yeah. was just like Wrecking Crew Mario. They added Foreman Spike. <laughs> Stanley the Bug Man. I'm just trying that to think of what other Bug NES Man games. Would be actually another interesting one because he's like, Mario's the first guy, right? first mm -hmm. boy in smash and then stanley the bug man is like the other guy that was in the donkey kong game that never got it's like imagine if stanley the bug man has been in the background for years like why the fuck does mario get all these cool games in this whole series and i'm just stuck in donkey kong 3 or something that would be funny <laughs> like stanley the bug man joins smash to like make Mario answer for why Stanley hasn't showed up in any other games. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Nintendo should do an Epic Mickey type of game where it's just all obscure characters that they they haven't done anything with in a long time. God, that would be great. No, that's um, that's um, what's that game called? Captain Rainbow or shit? Oh yeah, they already it. have that. Just they never have yeah. brought it out in the U.S. I forgot about that. Yeah, they do do that actually. There needs to be a U.S. version of that. Just have not transphobia. In yeah, it. I was gonna say, aren't they like, on top of that, like too raunchy for what they would normally bring out in the U.S.? Nintendo has some um, raunchier stuff sometimes, but then they just leave it in Japan all. Like, <laughs> right. Like they they only have this this perfectly family friendly reputation in the U.S. Or, well, at least outside of Japan. They probably have it also in Europe, I imagine, and other right. regions. It's funny they don't keep themselves to that standard in Japan. I feel like things are a bit different in Japan. Like, well, obviously. I think they're like, <laughs> well, yeah, but, like, I think, for instance, they're, like, more chill about, like, nudity and stuff. They're like, haha, that's funny. We can put that in a comic for children because it's funny. <laughs> So you end up with the comic where you see Mario's peed pe pe yeah, pebus. His, his, you see his super mushroom. I'll never say that again, I promise. No, you can say it as many times as you want. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. I hate these lizards. This is it. just... You never heard of what, Sasha? Captain Rainbow? Yeah, it's a game or with like... Or Mario's Pebus? Birdo and like Little Mac before his star re-rose. Um, Birdo, Little Mac... What are the other characters in that game? There's like... Tracy from Link's Awakening of all characters. <laughs> um, is that all I got? Was there the devil from Devil World? I don't remember. Oops.
They didn't bring. They never brought out Devil World in the U.S. because it had uh, religious imagery, and they were very uptight about that back then. Captain Rainbow. But they meant they slipped. They they had the cross on the on the shield, and the original Zelda still though. Yeah, I really like that. It, it like feels weird and almost uncomfortable, and that's what I like about it. It's like oh, <laughs> religious imagery in a Zelda game. All right, sure. Okay. <laughs> I think we discussed before the concept art for Link's or for Link to the Past, where there was a lot of overt religious imagery that they had planned, and then they they Amazing. they went back on. Oh yeah, there is the devil from Devil World. I'm I'm looking at a list of the characters, but I gotta wait a sec for it to load. Oh, there's Takamaru from that one game. Oh yeah. Oh, oh that's whip. yeah. That's the most recent time I heard. I was because I was remembering I heard about that that game fairly recently, and it was because I was it was a video about the the secret Murasame Castle or mysterious Murasame Castle. And there's a lip from uh. Yeah, that's uh, the other one I was gonna say. Lip. Kenrade Pond. Yeah. I was remembering that character was in there too. There's Hikari. I don't know who that is. Let's find out. Oh, thanks for joining us, Chroma. Have... Chroma leaving. Yep. Bye, Chroma. Have a, have a good uh, day, or evening, or morning, or whatever it is where you are, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like Hikari is from a game called Shin Oni Gashima. Have a good time. I know what that is. <laughs> Bye, Chroma. Oh my god, Bugcat, get in there. Thank god. There's Nick? Who's Nick? Um, Nickelodeon. Oh, of course. No, of course. Bugcat, what the hell was that? It's some dork. I'm going to keep dude. trying a few more times to get back to that room. Um, oh, okay. He's a, just an original yeah. character for this game. Oh, okay. Oh, he's the, he's the protagonist. I forgot. I get Captain Rainbow a bit confused with Captain N. Rip. Well, I just got another comment from Fidget. It's Roller MB2000. Is that the dudes from, like, Advance Wars? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so I guess they got the dudes from Advance Wars in this game, too. Advance Wars is getting a remake now, though. It's a less obscure game again now. there's a character called Mappo? Who is Mappo? From Gift Pia? What is... Wait, I feel like I recognize the name Gift Pia. What is Gift Pia? Yeah, as I mentioned, I got another... And we got another YouTube comment from Fidget, which was just Roller NB2000 in all caps. What? We got another comment from Fidget on YouTube, and it was Roller NB2000. <laughs> <laughs> nice. In all caps. Must be watching the video uh, with Biss's game. But those Sage streams are getting uh, a pretty decent amount of views. People seem to be enjoying them. And then there's the character called Space Hunter Drake Redcat. That, Red that, that's Chibi oh, Robo. Chibi Robo. Yeah. Chibi he has Bobo. a theme song. Bobo de Bobo. I he's, really want to play Chibi Robo. He's the only Chibi Robo character that uh, was in uh, Chibi Robo Ziplash. And they didn't even include <laughs> his theme song. Amazing. So yeah, Captain Rainbow is just a smattering of forgotten Nintendo characters and Birdo. <laughs> and Little Mac. I can't believe what they did with Ziplash, where it's like completely different from all the other games, doesn't have the characters, it's like a completely weird art and style and like, gameplay. We don't buy this, we're not making yeah, cheap that's what I was gonna say, it was like, and they staked the entire series on this game for some reason. Amazing. I don't understand. They're kind of just legends like that. That's how they that's how they roll. Because it was always a series that didn't sell super great in the first place. It was always kind of a niche series. Um, but they never, for whatever reason, they never did any uh, game that was exactly like the first one. They always had to be th at least somewhat different. They never, they never just stuck to the gameplay of the first game for whatever reason. Amazing. I liked Chibi Robo Photo Finder though. I thought that was a good game. Chibi Bobo 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 Bimer. 
Yeah, although, because cause the, the concept of that game was you were supposed to find things that, like, fit the, the silhouettes that it gives you, and you're supposed to take a picture of it, and that goes in the in your little museum. Um, but the but the silhouettes that it gives you get get, get continuously more esoteric, and like it would be like way more difficult to find something that would fit that. And so eventually, you just have to resort to just like drawing a picture that'll fit the shape, <laughs> or like getting something online and taking a picture of it on your screen, which was a little bit silly. Was that Cassie? Oh, I I was spacing out, but I realized you were talking about GB bo 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 blinder. Yeah. I was just talking about how it gets increasingly difficult to find things that fit the shapes that it wants you to take pictures of. Like there's one that's just like the the outline of an airplane. Oh. Yeah. Amazing. And Go they have find one forehead. <laughs> they have several of them that are like shapes of like different Nintendo things. Like, there's one that's like a Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, yeah. And one that's a GameCube and stuff like that. <laughs> I had fun sometimes, like, just drawing things to go in them. Like, yeah. I had, like, I had fun doing, like, a perspective warped drawing, because one of them was, like, a, was like a, like a soda cup. Like, the kind you'd get at, like, fast food place. Um, and yeah. rather than actually take a picture of one of those, I just, like, set... I had the stand that came with Kid Icarus Uprising, so I put the I yeah. put the 3DS on that, and then put my drawing notebook um, just on the floor in front of it, and then just do a really stretched out uh, <laughs> soda cup. But when That's viewed amazing. through the camera, it fit perfectly. <laughs> That's amazing. And I made it. I made it be Kirby soda. Kirby. What if I was Kirby? Um, you are. Wow! I didn't know I was Kirby. Yep, you play you you play Kirby on TV. Wow! It's because I'm so small. That's how I do it. I get in the costume. Mhm. Mm and you roll around on the floor. Yep, that's what Kirby does. Kirby is famous for only rolling. Yeah. So somehow earlier, whoa, that thing just clipped Despite through the wall. Legs. Or well, feet. So somehow I managed to do this, where I'm like swinging around like a rope. <laughs> and I feel like this is maybe what I have to do to get through here. But I have no control over it. I'm kind of just stuck. What if I take... I can carry two okay, things. Right. It's the zombie apocalypse, right? And you can only grab two of these items. A Minecraft stone sword. Children's scissors. An English to Australian dictionary. A Pepsi. Avril Lavigne 2003 CD My World. A Mario costume. <laughs> mustard. And a pair of Heelys. You can only pick two. Healy's. Nice, nice. What's the other one? Um... Minecraft sword. <laughs> nice. It's, this is a meme I saw on Facebook. <laughs> that sound, that's such like a... That's, that's not a thing that I would think of like Cassie saying, that's a thing I would think of like somebody's parents saying. <laughs> that they found a meme on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, how do you know I'm not someone's parent? Um, I I don't know. I was just pretty sure about that. I see. I didn't think that you were a parent. Well, you, you, apparently you wouldn't have, there'd be you some. Don't know me. I was gonna say there'd be some things you weren't telling telling me about yourself. Yeah. If that was the case. Yeah. Well, I mean, Sasha's a parent. Oh yeah. Married into yeah. it. Mother of nine volt. Wow, nine volt. How come your mom lets you have two moms? <laughs> oh my god, I did it! 
You did it? I did the thing. Can we get a pog in chat? No, I still can't reach over there though. No. Can we get a pogerinos for Elena? God damn it. That is very so frustrating. Bugcat followed. Yeah, I couldn't make the jump. Bugcat straight up followed. Yeah, you don't gotta rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he loves to rub things in. Well, that's a suggestive sentence. <laughs> Only if you make it that way. I suppose so. I I'm am excited to play Nickelodeon Smash Bros. This week. Yeah. Are you ready to chug jug with me? The Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. I thought you were going to say, I wish they called it something other than Nickelodeon Smash Bros. <laughs> it sounds like PlayStation if I had another, Brothers, If I had another stick, I could do this. No, it's... Hold on. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl and PlayStation All-Stars uh, with the S on the end. I didn't used to have this problem, but I get confused now because one of them has the S on the end, and the other doesn't. Damn, well, we're just gonna end the stream with a game over today, I guess, because, uh. I don't know what to do. There's no more time, and I don't wanna. I don't feel like getting back here again. And you're sick of this shit? Yeah, I'm really sick of this. This is the most stuck I've been in a long time because I just don't understand. Rip. What to do here? You still in the leg? Yeah. There was somebody in the chat suggesting that the bugs have use, but I can't figure it out. They do that I never discovered through my entire playthrough. Well, damn, then how did you get through here? Uh, it was difficult. I just, I think I need two sticks. I've noticed the game is making you use, like, making you use the sticks to navigate more now. Oh, yeah. Like, it usually was just optional. No, you must do that. Regions. Ren and Stimpy look like such a fun character for Nick Smash Bros. What if it was Ren and the I, Grinch? By the way, I don't say that to be uncharitable. Like, this game is Smash Bros. and it is definitely not just Look Smash Bros. Look at all Bros. the places we've been. It has a ton of its own unique shit. So, like, I don't say that to devalue its uh, uniqueness. What's screen shaking, Sasha? Oh, when the rain shows up? It doesn't happen very often. And also, at that point, you're, you're kind of just done most of the time anyway. Rip. Faded Citadel. Shoreline. I love super hard mode in WarioWare, where it just goes so fast. <laughs> I can't believe I got 112. Cassie is just a pro gamer. Yeah, let's get some bean bug at the end of the stream. Bean bug. I love having bean bug on my skateboard. Yeah, it's cool. I've been skating every day. It's so fun. Nice. I wish I could be the riding my bike, girl. but my bike is still broken. I wish we were skating and biking together. I almost am tempted to get a new bike completely. I want you to come over there. Oh. Why is it so loud? There you go. We don't need to get blasted by Beanbug. 
All right, well, that has been Rain World today. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. And we got really stuck. So that's maybe not a very yeah. satisfying place to end. But <laughs> that's what that's how we are now. Yeah. Um. So we'll play this again that's next where week. Where we live. Um. Bean bugs living in hell. <laughs> anyway, I'll be I here again. Bug, I mean, bug cat. I meant to say bug cat. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, I'll be back on Tuesday with Balan, and... Oh, wait, I forgot, I was... Brain fart in the middle of my sentence. I was gonna say, I'll be back on Sunday, when I will be playing Pokemon Emerald. Getting really close to finishing that game. And we will try to finish Raymond 2, and we will maybe start Raymond 3. I'm gonna get that, uh, installed in the next couple days. Uh, did you know, Cassie, that I got the entire, like, I got Raymond 1, 2, and 3 for, like, $6 total oh, <laughs> on GOG.com? <laughs> GOG is pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, good, they got good stuff. I remember there's some poopiness from them. I don't remember what it was, though. Oh, just what? Some, some poopy thing that they did. I don't remember. But God. they were the best place to buy Raymond. <laughs> so I don't. Whatever. Um, it's impossible to remember all the poopy things in the world. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll be doing that on Sunday. I'll be back on Tuesday with Balan and Psychonauts 2. And Thursday, I'll be back with Arrow and I will try to finish Half Life 2 Episode 2. Or at least make more progress in it. I don't. I don't know how much more of that game is left. Um. And coming up on the thirtieth, which is in a couple weeks from now, is uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed, which I may or may not have on the day of. But as soon as I get it, I will stream it. <laughs> and then is October, where we're gonna do spooky stuff, and probably also Super Mario sixty four, which. Well, I'll play the spooky level. <laughs> I'll play Big Boo's Haunt. Um, and we'll have this. Really, what you're gonna do? You're gonna play Big Boo's Haunt? <laughs> well, I mean, cause I'm, cause I'll be playing that game. So oh. tech, so that'll happen. <laughs> I see. And we'll have a, we'll have the the scuttlebug jamboree. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody. I'll see you again in a couple days. Thanks yeah. for joining me, Cassie. Anytime. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, <laughs> Bye -bye. everybody. Hi, Elena.